400 kilometers above the Earth, astronauts recently spent a seven-hour spacewalk doing maintenance and repairs. It's a constant task for the six-member international crew to keep the International Space Station in working order in the harsh environment of outer space. Over the horizon there in the background. Mission Commander Scott Kelly recently completed seven straight months on the station, a record for a U.S. astronaut. But, you know, obviously as things age, you know, over time we're going to have more uh, maintenance requirements. But, you know, the good news is we plan for that. We have a lot of spares on board, spare parts, spare parts outside. We have, uh, you know, plans for, for changing those things and, uh, you know, keeping this space station flying a long time into the future. As a floating space laboratory, the ISS has been the scene of thousands of successful experiments in the unique conditions of microgravity. But just how long the ISS will remain in orbit is a political and economic question. The ISS is a joint project of the U.S., Russia, Japan, and the European Union. Funding for the effort, while stable, is not growing. And political friction between the U.S. and Russia over Ukraine briefly caused Russia to suggest U.S. astronauts would not be allowed to fly on its rockets, currently the only way to get to the ISS. Those issues have been smoothed over and Russia says it will continue to participate for now. But some space scientists suggest money spent on the ISS might be better dedicated to a voyage to Mars. The future of the ISS is pretty certain over the next decade, but once you get beyond 2024, it, then it becomes very uncertain. At some point, one would have to transition resources uh, to, to really focus on going beyond low Earth orbit to orbiting Mars with humans or whatever the, the next step is here. Perhaps the biggest accomplishment the space station has made is to provide a wealth of knowledge about how the human body holds up during long stints in space. Knowledge that will be essential for a successful trip to Mars or beyond. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Pasadena, California.